Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the jackhammering feature in the Bistock NOS Ultimate. The reason why jackhammering was built is because sometimes when you are developing for a customer or you have an existing solution, you want to be able to compare your current solution artifacts with already deployed or compiled solutions. You don't have this capability out of the box with Bistock, and so Bistock NOS helps with bringing this feature into the development environment that you are used to. So how can we use jackhammering? We can start from any Bistock artifact and right-click into it, going to Bistock NOS troubleshooting and clicking in jackhammering. This will open the jackhammering screen where we can see two tabs, one for deployed assemblies, one for local assemblies. In the deployed assembly tab, what we can do is we can connect to multiple environments that we have registered in Bistock NOS Ultimate and browse through the artifacts that are deployed in those environments. Once we select a particular environment and that corresponding applications, we can see all the assemblies deployed in that particular application select. We can then choose which assemblies we want to see the artifacts from, and the selected assemblies artifacts will be listed in this below grid. And here on the bottom, we can see the solution artifact from where I started jackhammering that has been selected. And we can also open this dropdown and change to a different artifact if we need to. And now at this stage, if I select this orchestration one, which is the equivalent orchestration that has been deployed from this particular solution, I should be able to compare my current solution artifact with a currently selected artifact. And that is one of the features of jackhammering, the ability to compare artifacts across your solution and your deployed assemblies. If we are comparing something that is different, and in this case I'm going to select a, a Bistock Orchestration 2 here in this solution, if I compare it to Bistock Orchestration 1 in my solution, obviously they will be different. There is even a warning a lot telling you that these type names are actually different, and it might not make sense to compare. But if you decide to, because you might have similar or equal artifacts, you can still do. And in this case, of course, they are different. And so we suggest that you extract these to a particular location so that you can analyze the differences between the two artifacts and have the files extracted to that folder. If we navigate to the folder, we will see the two artifacts that have been extracted, the original one from the solution and the one that was compiled and deployed in the assembly. Another capability that we can do with jackhammering is extract artifacts from assemblies. And you can extract one artifact or all the artifacts available in a particular assembly. So in the case of this demo 3 depth 1 application, I can go now and say I want to select all the artifacts and I might want to extract. Once I select the folder and click OK, I will have all the files automatically extracted. In the summary screen from the extraction, we can see which artifacts were actually extracted and to which location. We can also have the option to open the artifacts directly from here and visualize the actual extracted artifacts. Now let's go into the local assembly tab. In this tab, instead of choosing a deployed assembly, we can navigate to a folder and we can select a DLL. And once the DLL is selected, we will have a similar capability to the deployed assemblies in the Jackhammer first tab. And so here we can compare artifacts. So I'm just comparing, it's the same exact DLL, so I should be having exact identical files and I can also select all the artifacts in a very similar way and extract all of them from the assembly. Again, we will have a summary screen from where we can open the artifacts for evaluation. And this is jackhammering, a quite useful tool when you have to deal with a lot of deployed assemblies, compiled assemblies that you want to extract some artifacts from there and that you might want to compare with your current solution. And this is all from Jack Hammering.